Hi guys, today I am going to show you how to make a journal using envelopes. That's right, envelopes. I have started this one, I haven't finished it. Um, this is for my RV friends. And it's also a great homeschool project if you're living on the road and homeschooling your children. But it's very simple, very cheap. And I will show you how to put this together shortly. Here's one in a envelopes and scrap paper. Now you can go to any thrift store and you pick up bags. I mean, just huge plastic bags. They're filled with blank cards and envelopes and just cut them out. So what I've done here is I had some blank cards in there and I cut it to make the front and the back match. And I have all of my envelopes together. And all these pages are actually an envelope. And I put these little tabs in with little cards that she can write three different areas of what's going on that day. I got this in a big, huge bag of scrap stuff that I bought at the Goodwill. And it's just a little card with an insert here. I think I showed that in another video of my thrift store haul. Here it is to do today. Laugh. And I just put a little thing in here that she can write a joke on or something that makes her happy. And this is just a little doodle page. Here, I have another insert card with a tab on it. And she can put anything she wants. And I put the lines on here because she's young. And it's to teach her to start. Just a simple little scrap paper. And I put it. A pocket on here which I'm going to show you how to do this in the other ones well I'll come back and put that in it wants to be contrary but you know you get the gist of it she loves New York when we went to New York for vacation one year we took her with us so I put this picture in there here's another one with just a little insert that she can write something on the back of it about her memories of her trip to New York and the same, it's an insert. This is just a piece of paper that says, remember to. And she can write down things that she wants to remember to do each day. Um, this says, meh, not feeling it. And she can write down little things on here that makes her sad. And it's a sad little kitty face, which is just cut off of a greeting card. And over here it says, happy, bright, chick to bold. And these are little stickers that look like her dog. And she can just write down things that makes her happy on here. And again, it's just a little insert. that She can write whatever she wants. Same thing here, just a little insert. Same thing here. Here she can write things that she did with her dog or memories of what's going on with her dog or whatever. And here is tickets. And this is, you know, a little pocket. She can stick the tickets down in different places we go. And we love going to the zoo, so I put this as the back page. And that's all there is to it. And then I put these little ribbons under the cover when I put them on so that we could tie it. And here's another smaller one that I did. And this is the first one I ever made, so <laughs> bear with me here. It's not all that great. But I had the same card again, as you can see. I really like that card. And this is just a little page with lines with um washi tape and a little sticker here i have a little insert and you know made a pocket for it it says memories and here i cut the side so that she could put little cards down in here and write little memories on and just stick them in there and all you had to do is trim it down below these two pages are for um, photos. These are just backings for the photos. That she can glue whatever picture she wants to remember on there. And this is, um, remember we all got into that coloring book craze for adults? Well, this is a page out of it. I just put that on there to, you know, something bright and cheery. And here's a little pocket with a note in it that you just write little notes on. And these are just pages you can decorate any way you want with stickers or you know little sayings or just whatever and again little cards stuck into a little pocket i made 
And to do the pocket, you just cut a piece of scrap paper and just glue three sides down. And just, the, you know, Cardinals, the state bird for Virginia where I used to live. So I've always loved Cardinals. And same thing here. It's just a little pocket with a card stuck in it to put notes on. And back here is just a little, you know, write down whatever's on her mind at the time. And these are coloring pages again that she can, you know, she can put stickers over top of them. She can put little sticky notes or, you know, whatever. Just little things to, she wants to remember. So, now... Here's how you make these out of envelopes. And I don't know why I decided to show you with these other than I want to do a travel journal for a friend of mine that's into RVing like we are. But these are the hardest envelopes to use. And I bought these, as you can see, they're starting to turn probably about four years ago. And they've been in my RV and I never used up the whole box. So I said, well, I'm going to use these. So here they are. And what you do is you fold your flaps back. You have your envelope, and it normally looks like this. Fold the flap back, and then you're going to take two envelopes to start with. And these are already have the um, little sticky pull thing on it so that you don't have to glue it or anything. If you don't, you know, you use any glue. Any glue works. You don't have to go out and spend a fortune. Go to Dollar Tree and get some children's glue, and it works. But you stick your flap inside. Whoops, I'm about to do that backwards. Make sure the sticky side is down, facing down when you put it in. So you slide it in. Line it up as best you can before it sticks. And if it does stick, don't worry about it. Just pop it up and put it right back down, like so. And then press it down. And that is too close. So let's pull it back out a little bit so I see the line sort of fold. Press it down. Fold it over. Press it down again. And I'm tearing it up. These envelopes are really old, but I wanted to use them up. I don't like to throw away anything. So you see, now I have a page. And I have a pocket on this page. So I'm going to fold it over. And I'm just going to keep adding envelopes. It's that simple until you get the thickness you want. And if you are in an RV and you are homeschooling, this is the perfect project for your children because you can make a journal for maybe whew, three or four of your stops, maybe more, depends on how much they want to put in it. But the kids get a charge out of these. My granddaughter asks for one now every time we go anywhere. She wants a travel journal to go with her because she likes... You know, picking up little brochures, and she will cut out. She wants a blank one because she'll cut out the pictures from the brochures and glue them on and decorate her own. So, I am now going to teach her how to do the envelopes herself. And she can make her own little travel journals because she is old enough to start doing these sort of things. And it's hard to line them up sometimes, but just, you know... Does not have to be perfect. I tell you this in every one of my videos. You do not have to be perfect. And if you're not selling this stuff for profit, it doesn't have to be perfect. If it's just for your own use or to give to a dear friend, you know, it doesn't have to be absolutely perfect. But you get my gist. You're just making pages and they're sticking to each other. And like I said, if you do not have these envelopes, just get some cheap glue or even some uh, little glue sticks from the Dollar Tree. And, you know, it's the easiest way to glue them down. But since I have these stickies on here, I don't have to glue it down. If I didn't have it, you would put the glue here and here and here. And stick it in. And yes, 
they do want to stick. I like using the glue stick better than these self-sticking envelopes because you can pull the glue stick up much easier than these little envelopes that already have the stick. Yeah, but since I have them and they're turning yellow on me, I will need to use them. Oh, this one must just really show up. So, what's your problem, mister? You don't want to go in? I see. Try you again. Okay. Like so. Yeah. Alexa, nobody's talking to you. What would you like to say now? <laughs> I think my Alexa is taking over my house. So. Here you go. And like I said, you make it as thick as you want, as thin as you want. For this demonstration, I'm going to stop it here. Because I really don't need it any thicker. Okay, I'm going to take this off. And then I'm going to bring this flap over and seal it. And there I have my binding. And they're all stuck together. They're not going anywhere. They're not coming out. So... There we have it. Now, what you can do is um, anything, any scrap paper you have, take one of your other envelopes, such as, you know, that you didn't use, put it on the paper, and trace it. That way you're going to get the perfect fit to go on each page. On the pages with the flaps, I would not cut it you can decorate this, but remember, if you're putting glue on here, it's a possibility it's going to go through, and it's going to stick on here, so it's going to glue your flap shut. So what I normally do is use two-sided tape on the flap ones. Um, if you don't have two-sided tape, just go lightly with the glue, or um, stamp them, color them, draw on them, doodle on them. You know, use these as... um whatever okay this one that i have finished well i haven't finished it i've started it this says remember to and i have these little cards stuck in here and you can decorate this any way you want stamp it um doodle on it write on it over here i have a little pocket that i made on top of this with the cards sticking on it and if you want to write down you can put probably up to five cards in here i just put one just to show um let's say truck stops along interstate whatever you're going on then you can list them at what exits they're at um free overnight camping you can put on another one and, you know, just certain things like that is going to show you what the gas prices are. And then, you know, you can have, this really will fit right up on your dashboard or in your console or anywhere that you can just reach over and grab it. Um, this, meh, not feeling it. There's a little flap here. Also here, I have a card. I put two cards here. If you come in against something, and these are just cut off of sales paper from you know clothing store but if you come across something in your travels that like you stop at a truck stop and the food is just atrocious make a little note to yourself and you know from one of your scrap pieces of paper and stick in your flap don't go there again or oh my goodness that campground was outrageous i'm not going there again or whatever or you know you stop to boondock somewhere and you were encountering unsavorable people Make sure you put it down so that you can tell your friends that, you know, I had a bad experience at this location. Maybe you don't want to go there. Um, this is Happy, Bright, Chick, and Bold. And I just put little thinner strips of paper in this one. And you can write down little happy thoughts. I mean, you're sitting in an RV by yourself most of the time or a van or even a car. So, yeah, you could be doing something by making yourself some of these little journals. Um, like I said, again, this is still blank. I haven't decorated it. I'm not sure I'm going to. 
because this being blank, now the Dollar Tree does sell this decorative tape, and it's like six of them and a thing for a dollar, and it's called Deco Tape, but if you wanted to, you could just put little lines on here, or make you a couple of boxes, or, you know, whatever to, I'll go ahead and lay out a little bit here to show you that, you know, tons of ways to brighten up this thing to make yourself you know, pay more attention to it or not be bored with it or want to spend time doing it instead of sitting there looking out the window wishing somebody would, you know, pull in beside you so you're not sitting there by yourself or, you know, being bored or whatever. Or if it's raining out and you can't get out and you just want something to do. Look at sales papers when you go in the store. Pick up their sales paper. Bring it home. Um, I did one journal. That I can't. I don't have it. I've already given it to my friend. But she is big into clothes. So what I did was. I actually didn't cut out the models. I cut the clothes off of the models. And just had little shirts and pants. And shoes and stuff glued around. But, you know, it's just simpler things where you could make smaller boxes and just put your little sayings in each one. Like, you know, today I'm happy that I have a full stomach and a warm bed or whatever. But, you know, like I said, for homeschooling, these are great because you can actually decorate these with handwritten schoolwork that your children have already done if they journaled in the past and they've got like a little three ring binder or a spiral notebook that has their handwriting in it you can be making these all along and it would tell you they will see the progression of their own handwriting but it's it's just a great little thing to have with you and here i have a dog on here because we travel with pets and my friend that i'm making this one for travels with a pet and what you can do, there's a flap on this one too. You can put like emergency vet clinics, um, humane societies, and then, you know, in your own handwriting so you can read it, put a list of where they are, where you're going to be staying. And then inside the flap, if you have any vet bills or anything, you can put them in here. Or if you don't want to put them out here and you want to decorate this, you can, you know, take some little strips of paper like I've done here and just, you know, write them down. Let's say a number, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, however far you're going. It's like number one, okay, we're going to be going from Florida to Georgia. And these are the exits along the way that have an emergency vet center. You never know what's going to happen. Um, we were on a trip to... I want to say we were going to Virginia from Florida one year and we did not know that our female dog had eaten a golf ball in our backyard and she got horribly sick in her crate. Um, her bowels per per perforated and it was a holy mess. We had to pull off the side of the road. My husband ran into Winn-Dixie to buy gallons and gallons of water. And I ran to a thrift store next door to buy every towel they had to clean up her crate and the back of the car. So it was a nightmare. But at the time, I didn't have anything like this. I had never even thought about doing anything like this. So I went to Facebook and started begging my friends, get online. This is where we are. This is the exit we're at. We're going to be traveling 95 North, please look for emergency vets for me and keep posting them because if I pass the exit and you post it, it's not doing me any good. So by doing this, you have it. You can just, you know, if you have to, put state names and then put exits. And then you can just look down there and say, okay, I passed that. I passed, I'm right here. There's emergency vet. I can get there. And, you know, put the phone number with it, with the area code. That is very important because what we did is my one of my friends found the number for us and sent me the phone number with the area code and if she hadn't if i wouldn't have been called because i had no idea what the phone number was and for some reason 
Verizon operator never understands me on my cell phone. When I call and ask for an emergency vet while we were on the road, she connected me with the Veterans Administration Hospital. I don't know. But anyway, this can be a lifesaver if you have a pet. And, you know, you can make it first or last. It doesn't matter. I put it here simply because I know it's the last page. You know, flip it open. And I'll make sure my friend knows it's the last page. Flip the back open. And there's going to be your emergency vet information. So, um, if you're doing this with kids, you can change it up and say, Okay, we're leaving Georgia and we are going to Virginia. And these are the sites we are going to see. We're going to stop and, you know, see a Civil War site. We're going to see a plantation. Have their journals made ahead of time, but not decorated. Let them get extra pamphlets while they're there. Cut the pamphlets to decorate their journals with. And then the ones with the flap, have them write what they learned there and put it inside the flap. You can also, if you want to put a cover on it, you can if you want to tie it. Now, this one I'm not doing a tie on, but you would put whatever you're going to tie it with under here before you put your cover on, just like this. This is glued under my cover, front and back, and then you just tie it shut. Um, I didn't do that on this because I'm going to make a different type of clasp for this simply because I'm going to put one of these binder clips this side so it'll clip it'll clip here and then the metal will come down on both sides to hold in everything because this could be very important and you don't want anything sliding out but I mean if you want to remember where your laundromats are put it on a little note stick it in there um, where is Winn-Dixie's or Publix along the interstate write it down stick it on there and, you know, you, another thing you can do with these, which is pretty neat, I had it on some of the others. Make you a little tab. And let's say you're going to do grocery stores would be this color, laundromats would be another color. Stick them in here so when you glance, you see this. Or you can put them all in here for grocery stores. All of your laundromats this way. Pointing out this way with the tab sticking out. So when you fold it, just the tab folds under. Thousand and one ways to decorate them. I always say, yes, I can sit here and show you page by page how I decorate. The main thing to remember is when you're gluing this, if you're going to put a decoration here, do not come all the way to the edge with your glue because you're going to seal this flap when you do. And that's for every page that has a flap. Stay away from the edge. If you know you have white showing and you want to decorate it, come back with a piece of decorative tape or something and just put it in there. But you really don't have to. You can take a permanent marker or a crayon or anything and do the same thing. Or you can just let the white show. What does it matter? But if you want to make it real pretty, it's like um, with my little notepad that I keep on my desk. I'm going to cover up this name here. But anyway, you see, I just make little squares for each day. Um, and there's a note right there in that box about a certain someone having something done today. And, you know, as you see it's stamped through here. I stamp them. I'm just sitting here doodling. So, and this is all here. All of this is the washi tape, the decorative tape. And, you know, you can find them just about anywhere. So keep your eyes out for this decorative tape. It's really, it's a lot of fun with journaling and with your little books you make. As like I said, you can make these from any size envelope you have. And you just put the flap inside and glue it down and just keep going and build it as big as you want it or as big as you can get it to close with once it's decorated. You're not going to want to put 150 pages together 
you know, it's better to have a little sh plastic shoe box you can buy at the Dollar Tree. And when you finish one, chunk it in there and save it for future reference or to reassemble and take the decorations off of and use again. But, you know, it's, it's up to each individual person how you want to decorate yours, how you want them to look, what purpose you want them to serve, and, you know, do it to please you. And if you're doing it as a gift, do it with that person in mind. But, you know, your friends don't want perfect. They want your work. So, this is my advice on how to do the journaling. And again, for the RV ones, I think everybody should have one. You don't need to go out and spend big money on something or have one of these composition books in there. You got to flip through pages. And, you know, right here you have, you know what you need to know. So put enough pages in there to have exactly what you need on that road and nothing more. And, you know, if you want to do one for each trip, you could put like, just cut a piece of paper out and make your own little title on there. Um, our trip from Virginia to Florida and the date. And you've got it. And it's really all that simple. There's nothing hard about making these. I think the average eight-year-old can make one. So, good luck. And if you do make them, and especially if you are homeschooling and you make them with your children, please comment below and let me know where to see the video so I can go and see what you did with yours. Okay, thank you, and I hope to see you again soon.